Hi everyone, happy Friday. I want to quickly share this in the City Girl Savings Group and then we will get started with the August month end money pulse check. Can't believe another month has come and gone. That is nuts. Okay, I can't multitask, so let me quickly share this in the City Girl Savings Group and then we will get started. Money pulse. Post. Awesome. Okay. Hi, everyone. Again, happy Friday. Happy month end. Um, you all know that I do the month end money pulse check video at the end or very beginning of each month. And I just walk you through exactly how to pulse check your money at the end of each month. And then I share the results of my month and money pulse check. So um, I'm doing it a little early today. I'm leaving for a nice exotic vacation tomorrow in Turks and Caicos. So I want to make sure that I get the pulse check done, get my results out, and um, let you guys do your own pulse check. Also, before I dive in, I want to share that the Frugal Fall Savings Challenge is back. Yay! So if you weren't participating in the challenge last year, basically it's an eight-week savings challenge. So by the end of the eight weeks, you will save about $500 just in time for holiday shopping. So I will leave the link to sign up for that free challenge in the comments section, and um, hopefully you guys join in. Um, but with that being said, let's dive into how to pulse check your money at the end of each month. So, you know, one thing that has made me very successful in my finances and one thing that I cover with my clients and so on and so forth is really keeping tabs of your spending and your budget throughout the month. But come month end, really seeing what your overall progress was and using that information to get better for the next month. So it's the end of the month. You need three things to complete your month and money pulse check. Those things are your budget. So whatever budget you had set for August, you will need. You will need your spending. So ideally, you are tracking your spending throughout the month. Um, if not, you need to start. And then lastly, your goals. So whatever goals you're working towards financially, you want to have that kind of handy so you can pulse check your progress. So starting with your budget, again, at the beginning of every month, you should be creating a budget for what the month will look like as far as spending goes. So you want to review the budget that you set at the beginning of the month and just ask yourself, um, did everything go according to plan? Usually it's a no, it didn't for me, but usually it's a no and that's fine. Um, what, but what unexpected things came up and are those things recurring? So do we need to factor those unexpected expenses into your budget for next month? So maybe you started a new subscription or maybe you had a free trial that moved to now a, a monthly payment. You wanna be able to understand that that came up this month and then factor it in going forward so you're not going over budget. And then lastly, you just wanna ask yourself, based on what happened in august what do i need to change for september so september is fall there's a lot of fun stuff going on you might be decorating for halloween or things like that so make sure you think a, a few weeks ahead and try to create your budget accordingly um so that's key element number one for pulse check key element number two is your spending so like I said, you should be tracking your spending throughout the month, and if you're not, you need to start. Um, but basically, you want to review exactly what you spent throughout the month and what that means for your budget. So when you're looking at your spending, ask yourself, you know, what areas did I overspend in? Did I go out to eat more than expected? Well, why? Were there birthdays or, you know, what, what caused that overspending? Um, next, you know, like I said, you kind of want to look a few weeks ahead with your budget to see if you have special events or things like that in September. So when looking at your spending, ask yourself, you know, will, will things be higher next month? Maybe you have, um, maybe it's your birthday and you're, you want to do some fun stuff or treat yourself. So definitely think about what areas of your budget will be, um, 
higher in, in terms of spending and make sure you allocate that in. And then lastly, just kind of a challenge question, but what can you do differently with your spending to make sure you stay in budget? So um, I know my kind of guilty pleasure is iced coffees and um, with fall coming, it's the pumpkin spice lattes and you know, it's just so exciting. Like I already know myself and I know that I'm going to want a couple pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. So I need to budget for that accordingly. And that means I probably need to spend less in another category just to make up for the difference because ultimately I have goals that I'm working towards and I am not tapping into my savings for discretionary spending. Um, but speaking of goals, your goals is the third element you'll need to complete your month end money pulse check. And honestly, what you want to do is just look at the goals that you have set, whether it's for the month of August or just for the rest of the year, and then ask yourself, you know, did you make the appropriate progress? So if you were supposed to save $100, you know, in August, did you save it? And if not, well, why? And if not, what do you need to do in September to make sure you're on track with your goal deadline? So if you were supposed to save 100 in August, you didn't save anything, does that mean you need to save $200 in September to make sure you're back on track? So you just want to think about that and make sure that your spending, especially if it's discretionary or variable, is not hindering your goals. Because at the end of the day, the goals are what counts. So make sure your spending is in line and then make sure your goals are um, on track to be reached. So that was just a quick overview of how to pulse check your money. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Karen. Um, this thing is a little slow, so I didn't see you guys joining in, but hello. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so now let's get to my results. Um, so you guys know that I share my month and money post check results with you guys every month and this month was not so good. That was kind of to be expected. I know August I pay for my auto insurance and I pay six months in advance. So that's kind of a large chunk of money coming out all at once. And then like I mentioned earlier, I have um, my birthday trip coming tomorrow. So, you know, I had to get my hair done. I got highlights. I'm getting my nails done and, you know, all that fun stuff. So I knew August was going to be kind of a rough month with the budget. Um, so overall, I definitely overspent in going out to eat, but not too much, only my $50. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, I definitely overspent in my miscellaneous slash fun spending. So that includes things like getting my hair done or just random subscriptions or anything like that. So I overspent in that category. Um, in fact, I've overspent in every category. I'm looking at my tracker right now and even gas because gas went up. I was $7 over budget. <laughs> So, I mean, that's, that's how it goes, right? Um, I, the good thing is, like I had mentioned earlier, although I may be over budget, it's never enough to where I'm not saving for my goals. So I saved exactly what I needed to save plus an extra $19 thanks to Digit. So I'm definitely happy about that. Um, but again, you know, I knew it was the auto insurance and then really getting my hair done that was going to push me over the edge. And it definitely did. Um, but that's fine. So. Moving into September, I, um, I have my budget already created. I actually plan on only spending $100 in meals out for the month instead of $150 like I did last month or August. Um, and also, too, it's my birthday month. So, you know, I'm just asking friends and family if they do get me anything, just make sure it's a gift card to Starbucks or Barnes and Nobles or, you know, something that I know I will use on a consistent basis and then I don't have to spend my money for it. So um, I am definitely going to try my best to make sure I'm in track with my spending for September. Um, August was rough. And if you guys watch kind of the past month and money pulse checks, you'll know that July was okay. June was okay. But, you know, it's not always easy. But, you know, you just keep persevering, keep pushing yourself forward and keep making progress. It's not going to happen overnight. But as long as, you know, you keep your goals front and center, you're, you're going to be fine. Um, all right. So that pretty much wraps up 
the August Month End Money Pulse Check. Feel free to check out my past pulse checks. I have full presentations put together to kind of walk you through exactly how to complete your pulse check. This time I just wanted to get on and show my face and, and see, see you guys. So um, I am heading out to get my nails done. They are bare, um, but the good thing is it was a birthday gift so I don't have to spend my money. So I'm, I'm pretty much done with spending for August. Um, so I will see you guys later and I will include the link to sign up for the Frugal Fall Savings Challenge in the comments. So hope to see you guys there. Thanks so much, Amanda. I will have a safe trip, hopefully, um, God willing, and a great birthday. That's so sweet of you. And I'll talk to you when I get back since we didn't talk yesterday. All right, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.